We're all packed up. We're ready to hit the road. This week we're going to go see Tyann Clark, elite Spartan racer, as well as head down to Camp Rhino where Julie Johnson's going to show us around, have us do some elevation training, Vegas style. We'll see what that's like. Here we are in Tokerville, Utah, home of Tyann Clark. We're going to spend the next day with her and find out what it's like to live with Tyann, find out from her kids what it's like to have a mom who's one of the best obstacle racers in the sport, and then I'm going to try to do one of her workouts tomorrow morning. backyard because she's got a pretty epic obstacle course in a very small space and I think everybody's going to want to build one of these in their backyard after they see this. I did that in 37 seconds, Tyann did that in 12. <laughs> I've got to work a lot harder to beat Tyann. All right, we're here today with Tyann Clark. She is one of the top obstacle racers for women, probably in the world at this point, we'd say now. Nice of you. <laughs> um, we're actually here at her house. She has brought us here, letting us stay here for the night, and um, now we're going to pick her brain a little bit. So tell me how old you are. I'm 33. 33 years young. And um, where did you grow up? I grew up in Star Valley, Wyoming. It's a little area that's close to Jackson Hole. More, more people know where that is. Um, but it's a beautiful little town. And it's a winter about nine months of, out of the year, but it was a great place to grow up. When you got into high school, were you always into running and sports? Tell me a little bit more about your high school background. Yeah, I, I played volleyball and basketball, but I didn't make the freshman volleyball team. And so that kind of ended those two things. But I, I was already a dancer, and so I did Brave Cadets. And um, I was kind of getting into a lot of trouble when I was a freshman. And so my mom, you know, gave me an ultimatum. She's like, you've got to find something else or, you know, we're going to have to give you serious consequences. And so track season was coming up and I always like to run. And so I, I gave it a shot and I, we didn't have a cross country team. So I only ran in track, mm -hmm. but I really developed a love for it. I wasn't that great for a lot of years, but after I, you know, later on when I was college age, I kind of found some more discipline, you know, ate healthier. <laughs> and um, did, did better, especially like on long, longer races, on road races. Mm -hmm. Have you always been a running star? No, um, you know, just average. I mean, I, I, I made it to state a few times, but you know, my times were never that great. It was just, yeah. I didn't really um, find my groove until I would say, you know, recently in the last, I don't know, three or four years. Mm -hmm. So when did you first get started into obstacle racing? Well, an, an unknown name, Hobie Call, he, <laughs> he, he talked to me for about two years. The first time I was pregnant and the second time I just barely had a baby. And he just said, you got to come try this, you got to come try this. And then there was one time where in Temecula they were offering some prize money and I'm like, hey, you never know, you know, I guess I've kind of wanted to try these. I had just started CrossFit. I'm like, oh, that kind of sounds fun, you know. We get to use the upper body. When do you ever get to do that? Mm -hmm. And so we, we took off, and I told the kids if, if I happened to win anything. I didn't have my hopes up. But, you know, we'd go to Disney World or something like mm -hmm. that, or Disneyland because we were on the way down yeah. to California. And so we went. We just decided to do it, and I showed up with Hobie that morning, and he went off to warm up, and I... It was like, what did I just commit to? <laughs> the day it was it was cold and rainy. You were there. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm looking over the water. I hate cold water. 
<laughs> and there's lap lanes in the water. <laughs> you know, I, I was just completely out of my comfort zone, um, looking at all the obstacles in the, in, in the um, festival area. And finally, I just stepped up to that starting line. And I remember seeing you for the first time there. And it just helped me to calm down a little bit and seeing how everyone was there and they were friends already and there was such a camaraderie. I just was so attracted to that. Mm -hmm. And um, we just went, I just decided, okay, I can run. I know how to do that. <laughs> so <laughs> we ran up that hill and the rest is history. Yeah, I believe you took off up that hill would be a better, a better <laughs> thing. Which you actually went on to win that race. Did you think that you were going, get, going to go and win this race oh, no. no there's no way um that was a surprise but you know i just kind of took things as they came and that's i guess that's most people's experience mm -hmm. with these races yeah you know the first the first wall i just remember going over it and like holy crap i can't breathe <laughs> you know you just keep going that's because that's all you can do is mm -hmm. keep going i fell off the second obstacle i fell off the freaking monkey bars and burpees and my heart was i mean i thought i was going to die but you just keep going and you're somehow your body just keeps going. Mm -hmm. And Jenny Tobin passed me after those burpees and about halfway through these guys were like, you can get her, you can get her. And like, okay, you know, and <laughs> all of a sudden she was close to me and I passed her on the next, on, you know, about halfway through. And then from there on, you know, I was, I was ahead and I was like, well, maybe I do have a shot. And I got to the end of the race and I failed the Hercules hoist <laughs> at 30 burpees. And then I failed the spear throw and I had 30 more burpees. I was, she's gonna catch me. <laughs> and I got to the rope climb and I, I'd never done it before. I had no idea if I could do it or not. And somehow, somehow I got up that rope climb because I'm like, I am not doing any more burpees. And somehow I crossed that finish line. If I hadn't have done that though, there's no way I would have won because <laughs> she would have caught me. This episode of Obstacle and Adventure Weekly is brought to you by Gaspari Nutrition. Myofusion Advanced Protein is the ultimate time-release formula packed with 25 grams of clean muscle-building protein with no sugar, artificial colors, corn syrup solids, or amino infusions added. What was the hardest part of that first race that you did? Um, I think it was, well, the beginning, but the water, the water was so cold. I don't know if it was just me, but I remember jumping in it and I froze and <laughs> I, I couldn't breathe. And I remember there was guys, I think they were, you know, army volunteers and they were in the boat right there. And I got up and I, and I looked at him and I'm like, I can't do this, you know, cause I couldn't breathe. And I'm, I, I about swam back and <laughs> they're just like just breathe close your eyes for a second just breathe and go and so i just kind of listened to their voices and i said a little prayer <laughs> and i made it across that water and i just i didn't think i was going to do it but that was definitely the hardest part i got across and you know i had i had won and i was just like are you kidding first of all i was so excited that i just won the money you know <laughs> but it was just an exhilarating like look what I can do. I can do hard things. This is, this is crazy. You know, what did I just do? And it was life changing, you know, and you just, it, you're like, I'm never going to do that again. When's my next race? <laughs> you know? What does your typical a day in Tyann's life look like right now? Well, it starts with a plan and it goes to crap. Honestly. <laughs> um, I, no, I always, I always have to get my workout in the morning because if it's at night, or sometimes I do two a days, but if, if I don't get it in the morning, it's not, it's not gonna get done. So my mom is so sweet, she stays with me, and I get to go work out for two or three hours in the morning, and it saves me, that's the only way. And, you know, it's kind of different every day, it usually involves running, sometimes, you know, it's obstacle training, sometimes it's CrossFit, mm -hmm. and sometimes I teach Zumba. And, um, after that, you know, I'm just back to being a mom at home. I, you know, I cook my kids' meals. I run them all over the place. Um, I try to do my best to, you know, eat, get them to eat healthy and exercise and um, keep up on their studies. So I've got a, got a full life. <laughs> 
Well, thank you, Tyann, for taking the time to talk to us and uh, let us learn a little bit more about you, your background, and um, on top of it all, eat your food and stay in your house. Oh, no, it's such a pleasure to have you guys, seriously. <laughs> We're at CrossFit Black Ridge, where Tyann, Clark, and I, we're going to go through whatever the wad is today. We're here today in Las Vegas, Nevada at the home of Camp Rhino. It is probably one of the coolest places you could possibly want to work out if you're into obstacle racing or just fitness in general. 